right let's come back and start with your group 16 elements done so i've already given you the introduction of group 16 we also done the general trends that is your halides oxides hydrides now let us come back and learn the compounds of group 16 the first element is oxygen so in that oxygen i'll be dealing with uh, different, different that is your i'll be teaching you about o oxygen i'll be teaching about ozone we'll be doing questions on ozone i'll also be teaching you about simple oxides and after this i'll be going into the next element that is sulfur in sulfur i'll be teaching you about <coughs> sulfur basically types of sulfur that is alpha that is uh, rhombic and uh, uh, monoclinic sulfur allotropes of sulfur rather and after sulfur i'll be teaching you something called but sulfur dioxide i'll be teaching you about sulfuric acid and we'll be also learning oxo acids done let us come back to the first topic that is oxygen so in the exam paper the cbsc paper you will not be asked any type of preparation directly remember that suppose if i have to learn oxygen basically you have you're going to study oxygen preparation of three methods for your prescribed syllabus but those three methods they will not ask you write the preparation finish or like uh, give this reactions for the preparation no they will give you in the form of word statement see here what this uh, see here preparation what is this question what happens when kclo3 is heated with mno2 so remember potassium chlorate i'm going to use in the presence of a catalyst like manganese dioxide i'm going to prepare oxygen in the lab let us see so first thing what do they give me they have given me that reaction let us right they've given uh, they said potassium chlorate is heated well now let us write this name this is potassium chlorate done they said they, they have heated it so what heated means you should not leave the heated to that you have to write the temperature what is the temperature 670 to <coughs> 720 670 kelvin to 720 kelvin what is the catalyst they've given me manganese dioxide is acting as a catalyst simplest reaction basically so what happens there are two parts one is your kcl salt here and your ozone here i mean not ozone or three molecule remember okay this potassium chlorate first important the <coughs> O3 whatever is there it dissociates forming oxygen well, <coughs> sorry oxygen right now apart from that you also have left with kcl kcl also would come out now here oxygen is two here oxygen is three so i can balance it here i'm going to put three here i'm going to put two let's see three twos are six three twos are six potassium now is two chlorine is two so let us write this now important <coughs> how is this oxygen collected this is the main thing here oxygen is collected by procedure called <coughs> How is this oxygen collected by downward displacement of water oxygen is collected oxygen is collected in a broth how does this look <coughs> basically you are performing this reaction in a test tube now i said this you are taking this potassium chlorate now you are heating it at this temperature now the oxygen whichever is there you, it does it gets released now what do you do you are going to take a delivery tube like this now you are going to take a watch glass or this one a broth type a uh, watch glass type thing and you are going to invert a beaker in this with water now what happens due to the downward displacement of this it moves oxygen moves and it collects in this beaker and you have a water <coughs> present in that so it's that particular thing which is soluble and it's finally collected so this is called downward displacement of water and this oxygen is collected in this broth this particular broth which is dipped in water so this is your kcl preparation so this is your oxygen preparation from potassium chlorate so basically <coughs> whenever you see this that means you have to prepare oxygen and show it to the examiner leave it here as i have shown now let's come back and do the next reaction 